Big overlap from Ribéry. Ribéry, one, two, buckle my shoe. Oh, Ribéry. Ribéry! Ribéry! Oh, it's easy. It's done in the spins, lads. It's done in the spins. It's what we do. It's what we do. Ribéry! All right, boys, let's get straight into it. No messing around. Ribri takes about 100,000 XP. If you are going to be training him up, you can use trainer points like this, or of course, you can just build him up by playing matches. I have videos up on that. But essentially, what you're going to be doing with Ribri to get the best out of him, I think, is being that all rounder, left midfielder, left winger style player. Leaving him on, on your overloaded side to get crosses in, one touch passing. He's got brilliant spacing, as you see here. Once he gets into these areas, lads, he's kind of lobbed balls in. I won't say that they're broken at the moment. I mean, the gameplay has kind of changed a little bit with this, but it's just more the spacing that Ribery picks up and the runs that he picks up, even without having a massive attack and awareness. We'll get into that when we look at his build. A lot of people were asking me about that. I mean, you're seeing the gameplay here. We played a lot of matches with him. He gets into the positions that you want to get into. He's able to fight for the ball. He's one of those tricky wingers that can still cover a lot of ground and help out defensively. And, of course, link up with your strikers as well for crosses, sharp passes, playing it into Kaka or whoever you're attacking midfield is but we want him to be covering this entire area area here and you can do a similar job on the right flank whatever position you don't have your defensive right back or whatever position is your overloaded wing uh that is where i would do it you know so that he can link up with your left back or your center back and of course he can link up with everybody else in the squad and that's where really he comes into his own he's kind of like that iniesta style player with these stat lines now we've gone a little bit We've gone a little bit over the top with his acceleration, but that is because we want to get the balance up as high as possible, and we want to get minimum attacking awareness 75. That is the key with this card. That is where you need to get him to. 90 speed is going to be very, very nice as well. His dribbling and his finishing is going to be lovely. That is the build. 8 into shooting, 2 into passing, 9 into dribbling, 11 into dex, territory, and of course 7 into lower body strength with nothing into anywhere else, right? That's going to give you, with Pep or Alonso, a 101 overall left midfielder or left winger and of course he can play amf he can play right mid he can play left uh, wing right wing he's got excellent player skills off the rip i think when we look at the comparison of ribri in a couple of minutes this is where ribri really excels if you're looking for a ready made you know does what he says on the tin perfect wing style player that can take on players can pop and stop can dribble can pass can shoot we don't have that many goals scored at him we don't have additional skills given to this guy i would definitely recommend first time shot and probably low lofted passing but he has flip flap double touch and soul control super sub and one touch pass off the rip which is amazing he also has fighting spirit which helps out with winning the ball back as you saw in a couple of clips there don't get too you know obsessed with certain stats not being that high like attacking awareness you can manually control how far he runs up the pitch and he's going to help out defensively as well he's not going to be your best wing option but as a left midfielder he is amazing he's kind of like nedved in that way except obviously way more flair and way more dribbling and you'll see here these pockets of space that he picks up this is all you really need to do we've switched him over from left mid to right wing and you can see that he's just going to isolate himself and just really kind of do an overload when players overload like this it's got a lot to do with their maze and run and it's got a lot to do with their player id i will do a video on that but essentially if you've got a prolific winger they will try and hug the touchline if you leave their ai passive right we'll get into that in another video don't want to complicate it too much but yeah i mean you'll see clip after clip after clip here of him just dribbling breaking through the lines carrying the ball and being really really good now we did a live comparison on our live stream if you missed it you can check that out we did a, probably about a 15 minute video comparing him to other wingers and stuff this is him versus his old school it's not that old but it is his other booster the Bayern munich booster and you can see that he's got a better overall we've got a couple of stats that are going to be better but essentially lads if you have any of these current boosters right I don't really recommend you, you know, sign in different boosters. We obviously got donations to spin for Ibri. We got him in our first 10-pack spin. We also got Torres. I'm working on a review for Torres. But you can see there that depending on how you build up the players, they're both going to be very similar. Too similar to actually have multiple versions of the same type of card. 
you know, if Ribery was like a completely different, you know, if he was a whole player or something, it opens it up a little bit different. But I love playing with him. I think he's an absolute beast. I'll give him a rating of 8 out of 10. I definitely think he deserves that. You train him up with a couple of skills that you saw there in the video. You isolate those little pockets of space. He can link up with the strikers. He's more kind of a creator as well as kind of somebody that can shoot and stuff. Even though I didn't shoot a lot with him in the games that we played, he definitely is an option to shoot if you give him first time shot. You can also give him a couple of other shooting uh, stats as well but i uh, and skills but i definitely think he's worth it i really enjoyed him um and i definitely think i'll be playing him again is he better than the Bayern munich pack i don't think there's much between them honestly if you have the old school one i wouldn't bother with this one but honestly he is a very very fun player and uh, and that's what it's all about sometimes don't forget to like lads subscribe and we will talk to you in the next one